of how to speed up your uh, computer by Kieran. Um, okay, this next half we're gonna go through. Uh, re not rejig it. We're gonna go through MS Config to look at the startup item. Then we're gonna go to the registry um, with a. It's not a freeware program, but I'll try and get the serial f uh, serial code for you. And then we're gonna delete cookies a second way. I also want to show you something after that, which is to do with Task Manager. Okay, first we'll do startup, and uh, to do the start items, you need to go to start, click run, and type in msconfig, like so. Okay, once this loads up, you need to click startup, and as you can see, I've already disabled most of them. Um, if you don't know what it does, on. Um, just like MSN, I don't need MSN to start at the beginning, so I'll check that. I'll just click apply now. So I'll disable that. If I don't know what something does, say ALCMTR, I don't know what that does. Um, this is uh, currently uploading uh, part one of this. Okay, but um, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, you go to Google. Help if I could spell. And you type in what it's called ALCMTR. TR, I think it was. Let's check. Yep, ALCMTR. I use processlibrary.com uh, mainly because some of the features it gives you, and I'll point them out to you. Okay, so it tells you whether it's safe or whether it's dangerous, you need to get rid of it. How many times it's been searched? This has been searched a heck of a lot. Uh, it gives you a brief description and a recommendation. Okay, uh, here it says non-essential but should not be terminated unless expecting to be causing problems, which it's not. Under recommendation, it says not critical, but see the information above before disabling. So basically it's fine and basically my choice. It's not causing me problems, so I will leave it. Oh, well, uh, there's part one. Part one's now finished. Just got to wait for it to finish processing. That actually went up pretty quick. To be honest, it normally takes a heck of a long, a heck of a lot longer than that. Okay, so that's how to do start up. And once you've done that and you click close, you'll be given a message like this. Uh, for now, I'm going to exit without restart because um, I'm doing this for you. So I'll restart it in a bit. Okay, so that's start up. And now uh, the one where you need the program for, you will need registry mechanic. You can get, um, I think you can get a trial for this. But um, I'll try and get the serial for you. Anyway, you run registry mechanic. So for it to load, and you need to, you can do all of these, but for now I'll just scan the registry. That's just scanning it now. It always finds one problem, which for some reason it always ignores. Um, so I can guarantee it's going to find one. But it's probably going to find more than that. But if it does, you can just repair it at the end. Oops, it's found some uh, file problems there. So we've just got to wait for that to uh, search everything. It doesn't actually take that long, depending on how much stuff you've got. Um, I've got about half left on this, half of my memory left on this drive, so there's not that much for it to search. So it shouldn't take that long. Okay, just while that's doing that, um, I'll show you the other way to get rid of cookies, and that is to go to Start and Run, type in Cookies. Press enter and this will pop up. You will see some um, some text documents and an index file. Do not delete the index file. If you delete the index file, it's not my problem. Uh, but just don't delete the index file. However, the text files you can get rid of them. So remember, do not delete the index file. Only delete the text files. Okay, that's still going through. It's found seven, nine, ten. Just running the deep scan at the moment. Custom controls, that's the one that's always there and for some reason it won't go. But as you can see, so far they're all low priority and then I've got some high priority ones down here. So just click repair. It'll create a restore point in case anything goes wrong. And repaired everything except that one which for some reason it won't repair. And because of that system health is low, but it's actually really good except for that. Uh, compact the registry, optimize the system, uh, you can do quite a lot with it. 
Um, just another program. It's not a freeware one again, but still, uh, Uni Blue Power Suite. Um, it's quite good. This my optimization level is high. Registry booster that uh, stability, performance, protection. As you can see at the top, all optimized to a high level, so my computer will run as to the best of its ability. Uh, other than brand new. Uh, the first time I actually ran the registry editor one, it found something like 323 problems, so it's actually not too bad. Okay, so thanks for watching part two, and hopefully that's helped you a little bit more, and your computer should now be running faster. Thanks for watching.